all right folks uh let me tell you what we're gonna be doing today i got those two quad and they are both running the work snail system uh this one has the original work snail vtx uh, i think by this time everybody should be familiar with the original work snail vtx and this guy as the new Worksnail Avatar HD Pro Kit. That's just a long name for the Avatar V2 Duo Antenna. They just released this one in the same time they released the Gago X. Uh, according to Worksnail or Cadex, uh, this is supposed to be the most advanced VTX yet. They have upgraded their antenna to provide you better performance. They went back to the Duo antenna. Uh, the Worksnail Avatar V2 Duo antenna has a new outer shell. According to Worksnail, they redesigned the shell to be a little more impact resistant. This one is a pro version. Uh, there is also a non-pro version. Uh, the pro version does come with a much bigger camera. And that is because there is a gyro in it. They have moved the binding button from the back to the side. So that makes it a little more easier to access. But uh, today, what we're going to be doing, we're just going to be checking the performance of the new one compared to the original one. Uh, this guy is supposed to eventually be able to record in 4K and 1080p at 120 frame. It's not able to do it right now, but that should be in the upcoming firmware. We're going to take both of those around the corner and we're going to see how uh, the new one perform compared to the old one. And by the way, uh, for the goggles, we're gonna be using my old Worksnail Avatar goggles. I didn't get the new Gago X for the simple reason that at this time, I didn't really see any reason for me to upgrade to the Gago X. All right guys, so starting with the original Cadex VTX or uh, Worksnail VTX. Now, I'm going to have to slow myself down because I've been through this path already multiple times with this system, so I kind of know what to expect. One thing I have to say, we don't really give credit to Worksnail because out of all the digital systems, Worksnail has been the most active in the last year because they have come out with so many new tools let me see i'm gonna stop about here so we can get an idea of our data how much bitrate we're getting and by the way i'm running this i think it's a 1080 i can't really remember i'm gonna have to put it on the screen but i took this path both on 720p and 1080p uh what's my bitrate 50 bitrate I'm trying to stay close to the ground so that will kind of challenge the system a little more. Uh, on both 1080p or 720p, the system did okay. It does do a little better on 720p. But you're getting an idea of where we are right now. I usually right after I pass this little corner, that's where it become a little bit challenging for the system so let go it goes the corner you should see my bitrate go down link quality is down as you can see the system you got a little red screen on the board but image going down as you can see we are still flying system is not crashing and voila we are done by the way i have tried the same path with hd0 never work hd0 never able to clear the pathway now i think i'm in 1080p which is going to be the most challenging because 1080p does worse than 720p i forgot to check so i'm going to come back and land and make sure that we are still we are in 720p I hope we are not actually we are in 1080p. I hope we are in 1080p. I'm not really sure. Uh Fox Tonight, I was on 720p with low frame rate. So now I switch to 1080 with high frame rates. So we're gonna be trying to challenge the system a little more. 
we'll see how it does with the high frame rate it still does okay but i think it's still kind of struggle going back to what i was talking about earlier before i completely forgot fedex works now we don't give them as much credit because within the last year they came out with so many systems uh, a new tool i would say within the last year they came out with the standalone vrx the Worksnail Avatar Mini S1, the Worksnail Avatar Mini V2, Worksnail Avatar Mini V3, the Worksnail Avatar V2 with the single antenna. Now we're getting some breakup already. And it came out, came out now with the Gago X and the V2 Duo antenna. You can see the breakup. We're giving a little more breakup, a little more stuttering that in 1080p. But like you can see, the system still, we're still getting image, we're still getting enough image or data to where we can still fly. So that is the original Works Nell Avatar VTX. So this is what the new Works Nell Avatar V2 Duo antenna is going to have to. standby uh compared to so at least gonna have to do either better or at least the same all right folks so uh, let's go now with the worksnail avatar v2 duo antenna and i have it at 1080p uh, normal frame i think the 1080p does not go to iframe i wait I don't know. Let's see how it's gonna do. I'm gonna pass here. You guys may have more information than I do because I'm not really paying attention to the bit rates. We are at 40. Now this camera is supposed to have a much big, bigger sensor than the original Worksnail Avatar camera. As far as image quality, I can't really tell if there is any difference. But remember, we are 1080p, so we will see how uh, this guy is going to do around the corner. Let's see. We are getting some link quality e uh, message around here. But, okay, we got a little red bar. Wow. I have to say this thing is doing it may actually be doing better than the original. I'm getting sensor loss, that's just my receiver. I'm not really sure why because I got my Express LRS on dynamic power. It can go up to one milliwatt, one watt. But Okay, I have to say that, not even looking on the reading, I have to say this, Worksnail Avatar V2 Dual Antenna is doing pretty good here. Because with the original one, I'll be getting link quality message, but on this guy, I'm not getting nothing. They're both running the same firmware, so... Wow, that is pretty good. This is as good as DJI, I would say. I have on the DJI, all the DJI version here. And I have to say that this is as good as DJI. This thing is doing amazing. Wow. Bravo, Worksnail. Did you say this is your more advanced VTX? And I have to say, guys, I am amazed by how good it's doing. Wow, and that in 1080p, I don't even need to try uh, 720 image going down a little bit, but that is pretty good. That is pretty good. I would say on 1080p, the Worksnail Avatar V2 Duo Antenna 
a bit as good as the original one does on 720p iframe here. That is pretty good. So, Waxnail did say this is the most advanced VTX. And I would say, based on my testing, uh, this VTX actually does pretty good. Now, the question is, this is just me guessing myself. I wonder if how much of it is with the new camera. I mean, I wonder if it's how much of it like that. I want to mean, I mean antenna because they do have new antenna on this system. They look a little more robust than the previous one. They're much bigger. And they say they designed it to improve the performance. And I would say those i don't know i don't know if it's antenna i don't know if the system the one thing i can tell you guys is that both the work snail avatar v2 and the original work snail avatar are both running the same firmware but in my testing as you may see that the work snail v2 does pretty much much better than the original work snail so here we go guys if you have any question i hope that uh this video answer them in the meantime you can always post a question in a section comment of the video i'm gonna be coming out thank you for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one